Hello, Blade Knights! Clawblade here, and welcome to another Neverwinter Guide video. In my last video, we went through ability scores and ratings. I received a lot of positive feedback and requests from all of you for more guide videos on certain topics, so today, in this video, we'll be going over artifacts and artifact sets. What they are, how they work, and where you can acquire them. Because of the number of sets currently in the game, I won't be going over each set individually or which ones are best for each class, as certain builds can require different sets to function properly. So be sure to critical hit that like button if you find this video helpful. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you want to interact with me live, come follow me over on Twitch. I play games, including Neverwinter, every weekend. I've also created a new Discord server where you can ask questions, organize game groups, and share content with other members. You can find all these links down in the description below. And now that I've said all that, let's dive into the video. So, what are artifacts you might be asking? Well, artifacts are equipable items that, when activated during combat, add extra effects depending on the artifact used. Some can buff yourself and party members, others can debuff or damage nearby targets. Some can even add control effects onto enemies or summon minions to fight for you. Each character can hold only four artifacts at a time, one primary and three secondaries. All equipped artifacts give bonus stats to help boost your ratings, but the primary is the only one that you can activate for the effect. Artifacts can be upgraded to get stronger by means of refinement. Using refinement points and the proper reagents, artifacts can be upgraded to offer higher stats and gradual boosts to the artifact's activated effect. So now you know about artifacts and how they function. Cool. Now let's check out artifact sets. These are groups of items that, when equipped together, add extra abilities onto your character. These can range from boosts to your ratings, buffs to you and your allies, and debuffs onto targets. Sets are put together by equipping the correct waist, neck, and artifact onto your character. The matching artifact in the set does not have to be your primary for the set bonus to take effect, just as long as it's equipped onto the character. You can find a description of the set bonus at the bottom of each item in the set, along with a list of the required items in the set so you know what to look for. You can also find which items you need for a set by checking out the Artifact Equipment tab on the Collections page. Waist and Neck Equipment can also be refined and upgraded, much like Artifacts, to get stronger and increase ratings and ability scores. Now you might be wondering, well hey, where do I obtain these Artifacts and Set items? So there are a couple of methods to obtain them. Your first Artifact can be tamed at level 21 when you complete the quest Artifact Recovery. Upon completion, you'll get to choose from three different artifacts. The most popular seems to be the Lantern, but I'll let you decide which you'd prefer. At level 60, you'll be granted the Vault of the Nine quest, which will give you another artifact based on your class. Neither of these are part of sets, so you don't need to go searching for a matching set or neck piece. Most sets are tied to modules they get released with. These can be attained by running the dungeon or trial associated with the set for a chance at them dropping. The collections page will also tell you which dungeon or trial you need to run for a specific set. You can also try checking the auction house to see if you can find them at an affordable price with Astro Diamonds. And those are the basics of artifacts and set equipment. If you feel I left something out in this video, or if there's a topic you want me to cover in a future guide video, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to answer today's community question, what is your favorite adventure zone you visited in Neverwinter so far? Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful, and if you want to catch more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Also, follow me on Twitch where I livestream every weekend, and join my new Discord server at The Foundry where you can chat with myself and other members of the community. So as always, thank you so much for watching guys and gals, and I will see you all in the next video. Clawblade, signing off.